What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Animar Sports here, coming back at you with another MLB video. And today we're going to be talking about my updated power rankings going into week two of the MLB season. Obviously, last week was a little bit of a short week because of opening day being halfway through the week, but I'm ready to overreact and completely change my power rankings after a three game sample size. If you guys like MLB content, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications to be notified when I post new videos and when I go live. We will be live tonight to watch some Sunday night baseball between the Astros and the Angels and then the Yankees and the Red Sox. We're going to do some double trouble tonight. Lots of MLB to watch tonight, so be sure to stop by the stream and talk about your favorite team. I love talking baseball. The last few streams have been amazing. If you want to check out the VODs, they're down below. Uh, it's going to be... It's been super awesome. I appreciate you guys... Uh, hanging out with me on stream and talking some baseball but without further ado let's get into our power rankings and start talking about my new updated power rankings all right so last week this was my rankings going into the first day of the mlb season i'm going to show you my old one and then i'm going to show you my new one for each five spots uh we're just going to go over the changes and why it changes so this is it going into the season on thursday and this is what it is now all right so as you can see not much has changed so the pirates at the 30 spot but the oakland a's i have moving down to the 29th spot they really haven't shown any promise against the uh phillies the phillies have kind of been beating the crap out of them this weekend uh whereas the orioles i feel like have played a little bit more competitive against tampa bay who i have very high up in my power rankings so i think the orioles played more competitively against a better team uh so that's why i have them taking a little bit of a leapfrog over the a's still all three of these teams not really uh not really the cream of the crop in the mlb uh, but pretty all right I also have the Nationals taking a spot down, switching with the Diamondbacks. I feel like the Diamondbacks, after that walk-off win, after being no hit at like seven innings or whatever, uh, they really showed some promise there with the lineup, at least. The pitching hasn't been fantastic, uh, but they do have a win on the board, so you can't say they're better. <laughs> you can't say they had a worse week than the Washington Nationals, who are still winless to start the year and have made the Mets look like insanely good. So, still some promise with the Nationals. I do think the Nationals are a little bit better team than the Diamondbacks but the Diamondbacks have been playing a lot better baseball, so I had to put them at the number 26 spot. All right, moving on to numbers 25 through 21. We got a little bit of a shakeup. This was our last week projections. Let's see what this week has in store for us. As you can see, a little bit of a shakeup. I do have the Cubs leapfrogging the Guardians, the Cubs and the Kansas City Royals leapfrogging the Guardians with the Rockies and the Reds staying in place. The Rockies and the Reds, they've been playing okay games against the good teams they're playing. Uh, the Rockies actually pulled out a win, so maybe I should have them above the Guardians because the Guardians are still winless, but I've been really impressed by the Cubs and the Royals. Unfortunately, there's just a lot of good teams in front of them that I think are still better than them, uh, but they have been impressing me a lot, specifically the Kansas City Royals. I've been really impressed with their pitching. That might just be because they're playing against one of the worst lineups in baseball in the Cleveland Guardians but uh Bobby Witt Jr's looked good the whole lineup has looked pretty solid actually great defense and the pitching has been very very impressive so got the Guardians at 22 Cubs at 21 and then the Guardians taking a fall to 23 in the power rankings yet hopefully they can get a win today get back on the board maybe we'll have them a little higher next time I do like their pitching staff as well though the pitching's been great unfortunately just haven't been able to squeak out a win yet moving on through numbers 20 through 16 this was our rankings last week let's go ahead and take a look at our new rankings as you can see there has been a little bit of a shake up you can see uh, I do have the Angels dropping into the bottom, uh, bottom half of the league. Not a whole lot else has changed here. Uh, pretty much the same as last week. The Rangers have been playing pretty good baseball, but their bullpen and their pitching staff has not been great, which is kind of where I had them. That's why I have them at 20. They have one of the worst pitching staffs in baseball. Well, they do have one of the better lineups in all of baseball. The Tigers did look pretty good. I unfortunately couldn't really leapfrog them with the Twins. The Twins do look better right now. Uh, but they did have that one comeback win against the White Sox bullpen, which is kind of interesting. Twins have been playing great baseball. Unfortunately, they just haven't been able to squeak out a win yet. Uh, very, very close games they've been playing. Uh, one run games, both of them. Unfortunately, both resulted in losses. The Miami Marlins have been playing fantastic, even squeaking a win out against the Giants. And then, of course, my Angels have just looked awful awful offensively and their bullpen didn't look too great two nights ago that was poor managing in my opinion by joe madden he kind of brought in some of the scrubs of the bullpen as opposed to trying to keep the game close and competitive uh some of those guys i don't really expect to be on the roster the whole year mike myers looked awful uh who was the other guy oliver ortega didn't look so hot so not really the best managing game the other night but 
Uh, the Angels at 1-2, and two, of course. Got to drop them down a little bit. Some of these teams have been playing a little bit better. Now let's get into the top 15. This is the top half of the league. Uh, above league average, all these teams are. Let's see who moved into the top 15. So this is what the top 15 looked like last week. As you can see, we did have the Angels in the top 15, but... Moving on into the top 15 would be the Philadelphia Phillies. I actually have them making a huge jump because they looked fantastic against the A's. I know it's the A's, but I'm honestly extremely impressed with the Phillies. Making a huge jump up to number 11. That is the biggest jump, I believe, in all of my power rankings right now. So Phillies at number 11, San Diego Padres at 12. A little bit of a fall just because of that bullpen performance against the Diamondbacks. If it was against another team, I might have cut them some slack, kept them in the top 10, but but unfortunately, the Diamondbacks, not really the best team in baseball, and uh, they blew that one save against them. I haven't looked great offensively without Tatis Jr. as well. They haven't put, been putting up nearly as many runs as I've expected from them, so I did have to drop them a little bit, down to 12. I have the Mariners moving up to 13. I think I, think I had them at 13, right? All right, I'm at, yeah, I have the Mariners staying put at 13 like I had last week. I do have the Milwaukee Brewers sliding down. Corbin Burns did not look great. Neither did Brandon Woodruff, and that bullpen was atrocious yesterday. So I really don't know. Maybe the Cubs are just better than I expected, but the Brewers pitching staff has not looked great to start the year, so I do have them dropping a little bit. I already wasn't high on their lineup, but if their pitching staff can't perform as well as it is expected to, I really don't see this team competing for even a playoff spot, let alone a World Series. And then I do have the Red Sox at 15. The Red Sox uh, haven't been able to squeak out a win against the Yankees. I do really, really, really like the Yankees. As you can see, I have them in the top 10. Uh, but the Red Sox not really performing that well. Specifically, their pitching staff and their bullpen hasn't been able to hold the leads they've gotten. I do love their offense, though. So you got to have them in the top 15. Now let's move on to our top 10 and see who has made it in the top 10, who has moved out of the top 10. We already saw with the San Diego Padres. So we do have a new team. Let's find out who it is. So in case you missed it, this was our top 10 last week. As I said, we already saw the Padres in outside of the top 10. Let's see which team moved on in. And as you can see, that would be none other than the St. Louis Cardinals I have coming in at number 10. I know they're playing the Pirates, which is why I didn't move them up higher. If they were playing a really good team, I might have had them, you know, maybe eight or seven but uh against the pirates obviously they're expected to win but they've been putting up a lot of runs the defense have been playing as expected and the pitching's been better i know it's against the pirates so you know i could probably strike out half that lineup but you know the cardinals still look really good the offense looks better than i expected and uh, the pitching staff looks a lot better than expected, specifically the bullpen. So Cardinals I have coming in at number 10. I do have the San Francisco Giants dropping down a little bit into the number 9 spot. The bullpen has actually been performing worse than I expected. Camilo Doval blew, uh, blew a save the other day. Overall hasn't been fantastic, and the lineup has been very underwhelming, playing on par with that Marlins lineup, which is also a little underwhelming. So I do have the Giants in at number 9. Uh, making a pretty big drop and right next to him I have an even bigger drop that is the uh, Chicago White Sox I still think they're a top 10 team but they had a very atrocious bullpen of performance opening day against the Detroit Tigers I don't know if it was just some rust they needed to kick off but if that if that bullpen is not performing up to par this team kind of goes from elite to just pretty good you know uh, still a top 10 team if that bullpen's not performing well but Overall, that bullpen needs to be there if they want to be at number three, which is where I had them last week. Now, we also have the Yankees moving up a little bit. I believe I had them at number eight last week, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I had them at number eight. So I had them moving up one spot. They've been dominant against the Red Sox and having those late game comebacks. Anthony Rizzo looks amazing. Uh, Josh Donaldson looks pretty good. Their bullpen looks great. Araldis Chapman is back throwing 100 again. Uh, and their pitching staffs looked a little bit better than I expected as well. Their starting pitching. Luis Severino had a really good start yesterday. Garrett Cole's start was a little shaky. But overall, I think they've been very, very good. And we'll see tonight how they perform when we're live on uh, YouTube streaming it. Uh, so come hang out and see how the Yankees do if they stay in that number seven spot for us. Now moving on to numbers four through six. This is what I had last week. Let's see how we shook it up. As you can see, we have the Astros making a big jump into the top five coming in at number four. I also switched the numbers up, so don't get confused. Last week, this was six. Last week, this was four. Uh, it just made more sense. It was more visually pleasing. I'll show you the full graphic in a minute. But anyways, 
Uh, Houston Astros in at number four. They have been absolutely dominating the Angels and two of the best players in all of baseball and Shohei Otani and Mike Trout. Framber Valdez looked like a Cy Young candidate. Justin Verlander looked like a Cy Young candidate. And the bullpen was holding up pretty good until last night. Well, actually, last night they looked good too. They just gave the one home run to Trout. But overall, the Astros look very, very good. I was definitely underrating them to come into the year. Toronto Blue Jays I have moving up one spot. I don't know. They didn't... They haven't really impressed me too much. I expected them to destroy the Rangers, but uh, I don't know. The bullpens looked a little bit better than I expected, and that's kind of why I leapfrogged them a little bit. Uh, still definitely a top five team, or borderline top five team. Uh, so that's why I moved them into the top five. And last week we had the Braves down here at four. Now we have the Braves down here at six. The Braves bullpen has looked shaky shaky it's against a bad team in the reds i don't know man kenley jansen does not look great and the rest of that bullpen has been hanging on by a thread uh two big leads that they ended up winning by one run and they even lost a game so i don't know about that bullpen right now that's the only thing that's sketching me out i'm sure it'll come through but uh, i moved him down just a little bit just to show i'm a little bit concerned with their bullpen now moving on to the top three last week this is what we had we already have seen the white Sox, so the other two teams are still in the top three let's go ahead and see what we've got and i have the most surprising leapfrog into the top three that is the new york mets now, I know what you're saying. I'm totally overreacting, and I don't necessarily disagree, but that Mets team without DeGrom has looked phenomenal. Phenomenal. They have been so good. Chris Bassett looks great. Tyler Miguel? McGill? McGill? No, not Miguel. McGill? McGill? Whatever the hell you pronounce it. He has looked amazing. Carrasco is going today. I think he's going to look good. Scherzer looked great. That rotation has been lights out. Their bullpen's been pretty solid, been able to keep runs off the plate. They have allowed a lot of base runners, but they've been looking pretty damn good as well. And the lineup has looked great. Starling Marte at the top has been fantastic. I really like Mark Canna's bat. Uh, they've been getting hit by a lot of pitches on that uh, Washington Nationals pitching staff. But overall, man, I'm super, super, super high on the Mets right now. Uh, they've just looked fantastic. They've looked like the third best team in all of baseball. The Tampa Bay Rays, like I said, if you can't beat them, you can't rank them lower than second. They're just that good. And then, of course, the Los Angeles Dodgers. They always win the World Series on paper. They just never win it in actuality. So, top three right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at all 30 teams once again. And there you have it. There is one through 30 on the screen right there for you. These are my current power rankings going into week two of the MLB season. Did I overrate anybody? Did I underrate anybody? Let me know down in the comments and maybe give me your top 30 teams in baseball right now. And be sure to come to talk about it on our live stream tonight at 4 p.m eastern time we'll be going until the end of the red sox yankees game so astros angels first red sox yankees second and we'll be keeping you updated on all the other games while they're going as well don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to be notified when i go live tonight and i'll see you guys all in the next one thank you so much for watching y'all have a great rest of your day